Ah, greetings and salutations. Well, today we were supposed to go to Death Valley, but uh, I got up early this morning and I actually got everything uh, squared away last night. Got all the information I needed to tell you about the places that we were going to go. And I got up early this morning and you know, I, I thought, you know, I'm going to call the park and um, ask them to double check to make sure that where I wanted to take you was going to be accessible because it is at elevation. And there ain't no point in spending two and a half hours drive all the way out there only to find out that, you know, it's snowed in and I can't get there. So I called him. I got a hold of a park ranger that answered all my questions in the form of a question. I asked him, hey, is such and such accessible? Yeah. Like, you can, like, drive all the way up there. Uh, there's a little bit of snow. There's patchy snow and some potholes, but wheel drive cars been making it up there like so you shouldn't have any like problem so I thought great you know no problem we're gonna be able to go up there and uh, check this you know check this site out it'll be a good day and then I looked out my window and I saw my mountains obscured in clouds and I looked off to the west and Saw it was kind of gray out off to the west, and I thought maybe I better check the weather for the park to make sure that we don't get stuck in inclement weather because you don't want to get stuck in a really remote place up in Death Valley or out in Death Valley during inclement weather. So I checked, and there wasn't any rain forecast, but there was a high wind advisory through Monday. On top of that, I discovered that last weekend's high wind advisory had knocked the power out in all of Death Valley and that means that there as spotty as cell coverage is in Death Valley there is none right now and there's two gas stations in Death Valley one at Furnace Creek and one at Stovepipe Wells and Stovepipe Wells is closed and the pumps aren't operating at Furnace Creek and there's absolutely no uh, phone service at all in the park right now so I figured maybe it's best that we just postpone this trip for a more suitable time so that's what we did and today I'm going to um, get started on the flooring of the bus I got my daughter here with me say hi Heather hi <laughs> how about a little enthusiasm huh why you in your preteens already good lord help me but right now we're going to run up the home despot and get some uh, pad for that flooring and we get started putting the floor in the bus. How about them apples? One hour later. Uh, just looking at uh, the weather uh, for today and it's 46 degrees. It's 46 again. Yesterday it was 64. It was a beautiful day. Low winds, sunny. Just a gorgeous day. Same thing with Thursday um, or Friday. Friday was 68. Beautiful, sunny, uh, very little wind. Friday again it was 68. We're back to the weather that we had uh, the first three days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday ranging from 41 to uh, 50 degrees. Cold, windy, I know good. So I'm gonna fire up that easel heater because I can. And no, I haven't figured out how to operate that control yet, but I will work on that tonight. Here? Mm -hmm. Here, firing up. Mm -hmm. Keep moving all the stuff in. It's looking pretty damn cute though. It's looking good. <laughs> turn the heat pump on too but that takes electricity well for some reason that ain't freaking working it was working in a minute ago anyway so I have uh, some underlayment laid down this is the cheapest stuff that home desperate had to offer I've got cut use this piece down here you know. Later, and I'm gonna get started 
in this hallway. Did people warn me about vinyl plank flooring buckling? And that would be true for any uh, laminate flooring material. If you don't allow for expansion, uh, it's going to buckle. So you need to uh, read the instructions or whatever product you're going to use. And I just, you know, I, I prefer the vinyl plank flooring because it's a little more waterproof and probably a little more kid proof than uh, what I have here. But I got this so cheap that it's like I could do this almost twice. So I'm going to run with it. But anyway, um, this particular product calls for a 5 16 um, expansion gap at the edges around the perimeter to allow this to expand and contract. And like I mentioned in the last video, how much that material is going to expand and contract really depends on your the area of the country that you live in obviously out here we don't have too much to worry about in terms of humidity because our humidity is relatively low year-round in the summertime when it's uh, triple digits it's probably around between 35 and 45 percent relative humidity in the wintertime it's even drier than that so we don't have to worry too much about uh, materials absorbing moisture and expanding that way um, what we have to worry about is thermal expansion and when you're talking about throughout the season uh, between winter and summer sometimes as much as a hundred degree temperature swing that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of thermal what's the word I'm looking for it's a lot of thermal absorption for uh, a vinyl material to, to handle not only that but some of that vinyl planking can run upwards to eight dollars or more a square foot depending on the manufacturer I was looking at one of the premium brands at home despot they wanted eight dollars and thirty five cents a square foot and granted the planks were like four feet long but damn nine dollars a square foot fifty eight cents a square foot if it doesn't work I'll throw it away and put a long limb down some of this stuff has the pad already installed onto the planks this particular one doesn't so I got the cheapest thing that uh, home despot had to offer and this was 35 this is 30 bucks $29 and change and they had two options this and oh uh, and, and a little bit thicker pad a little denser and that was $65 for 100 square feet so of course I took the cheaper one because I'm cheap moments later all right that's that's one box let's open another box Yay! Pissos Laminados.
Well, I bought Knox out. All I have is maybe what? Rip down pieces here and the return here. Maybe a little bit over here. I haven't decided how I'm going to close this off yet. Well, hell, I'm on a roll. I might as well just keep right on going. Finish it up tonight. Um, I do got some pieces to rip for like it this wide from underneath that cabinet to fill the gap between there and the toe kick. But other than that, this is about done. Brightens it up a little bit in here, eh? Done. When did I start this? A little after two o'clock, quarter after two, something like that. And it's now 10 to 6. Not bad. Wonder if my wife's gonna come out here. She thinks it's too cold. So lay out some tile here for right quick and see how that looks. Um, yep, it's gonna be on the walls or is it just gonna be like that? Yeah, on the walls. Daddy, I wanna be on floor. the top. The white goes on the walls. I wanna be on the top. So what do you think of that floor? It's beautiful. <laughs> Really nice. This whole bus has come really together. It's good in there. It's getting there good. Yeah. What do you think, sis? Yeah. Yeah, I what? Like it. You like it? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I figured out why my uh, diesel heater's not working anymore. Um, apparently, yesterday when, yesterday, yeah, yesterday when I was moving it around because it's not screwed to the floor yet, I had inadvertently pulled the fuel line out of the bottom of the rubber hose that goes into the thing. All, I've been spurting diesel fuel all over the ground. So that's why. But tomorrow I'll get that squared away. <laughs> Idiot! So what do you think? I think my floors look glorious. And for 53 cents a square foot, scores! So if you like this video, smash that like button and share this video with your vast social media network that helps the channel immensely. If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button. And the little bell icon is right next to it. So YouTube will let you know the next time I upload a video. Check the links in the description for products that I use in these projects or the gear that I use to make these videos. And if you're so inclined to purchase said products, I would consider it a personal favor if you went through one of those links. That way, the channel can earn a little bit of a commission and uh, goes a long ways to offset the cost of these projects. Thanks in advance if you can afford to do that. And if you can't, well, we're probably related. So until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep the powder dry, and have a splendid day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay? Bye.